Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India class once again you have been doing a lot of things in Japanese in the past lessons are you ready today for more Japanese well we will do a lot of things we will do new forms we will do new kanji we will learn about Japanese uh, festivals also some proverbs and of course vocabulary but before that, we will go over the assignments that I had given you last time. So, well, the first assignment that I gave was match kanji characters in group A with meanings in group B. So, we have the kanji characters here. You have done most of them. You have been seeing all the characters in your lessons. The meanings are given over here in Roman. Match these, please. So, onna no hito. Fuyu, Fuyu is winter. Namai, Kodomo no hi, Tegami, Raigetsu, Shukudai. Shukudai, though we have not done it formally, but always before your assignments, this character is there. You can check it out and see, you should be able to recognize it now. Sensei, Gakse, you can see this is similar. Now change the verb forms and fill in the blanks with those forms. So, well, Mina san, dozo, meshiagaru is polite for eat, meshiagatte kudasai. Minna de, juichi ji ni. Aimasho. Ni over here is for aimas. I keep repeating it again and again for you to understand. Watashi wa ashita picnic e ikitaku nai. I don't want to go. Sumimasen. Chotto jimusho e itte mite kudasai. Please go and see. Sensei wa ima oshiete imas is teaching. Seto tachi wa ima kiite imasu are listening. Seto is pupils, students and to make it plural as we do not have plurals in Japanese, tachi is used. You have done gakusei tachi, onna no hito tachi, kodomo tachi. So well, tachi is a plural, can be attached to any Noun. Sensei ni pen o sashi ageru. Sashi age mashita. Give to someone senior or older to you. Okaasan ni e shatsu o moraimashita. The subject over here is not there. It is understood. Watashi wa okaasan ni e shatsu o moraimashita. Ima nani mo? Shitaku nai. The negative over here, shitaku arimasen. Nai is the plain form for arimasen. So, negative because of nani mo, nothing. I do not want to do anything. So, always nani mo will take a negative verb. Nodo ga kawaita, kawaki mashita. Nani ka nomimasho or nomi. Tai. Nanika is something. Nanimo is nothing. We did it in our last lesson. So, well, you could go there and check it out. Fill in the blanks with appropriate interrogative words and particles. So, it is a mixture. Let us see. Rao san, doshite ringo o kaimasu ka? Doshite is why? Why are you buying apples? Deri wa 
どんな町ですか What type of? どうしてケーキを食べませんか Why aren't you eating the cake? どうして is why? Asking for reason. カンプルからデリまでいくらですかいくら over here is for how much is the ticket? How much does it cost? You could also add Kanpur kara deri made bus de ikura desu ka or densha de ikura desu ka. By mode of, which mode of transport you want to go, you can inquire how much it costs or takes. Heya ni taksan mono ga arimasu. Taksan is lots of. Taksan. Taku san. Taksan means lots, lots as in number which can be counted, which is a, which is, which can be seen, which can be counted is taksan. And another lots is yoku, which is again lots, but a little abstract cannot be counted or cannot be measured. For example, we have something here for you later on. Yoku tabemashita. I had lots to eat. So, a small quantity would be, could be lots for someone and a small quantity may not be lots for someone. So, well, yoku is lots, but cannot be measured and taksan is something which can be seen, which can be measured. Atama ga itai kara ima uchi de yasun de Dare ni tegami o kakimasu ka? Dare ni to whom? Jimushitsu ni kopi no kikai wa ikutsu arimasu ka? Nandai arimasu ka? Both are used, though ikutsu is used for small things, but for kopi no kikai machine, ikutsu is used, and nandai, of course, is for big machinery or big things. So, Nanda is also used. Hasami de kami o kirimasu. Hasami is scissors de by means of with. Rao san no kaisha wa dochira desu ka? I just explained this to you in the previous class. Dochira over here means where are you working in this situation? Though generally dochira means where. Now look at the pictures and write hiragana. This is essential. You need to know your hiragana because all three scripts are written simultaneously. We are doing kanji, so we also need to do hiragana. There is tamago, kuruma, kudamono, sakana, kumo. So whatever you say, you write. It is very simple. Hana, dango. Kaeru. Kaeru is not kairimas. Kaeru is also a frog. Risu and ashi. We have done risu in our uh, proverbs. So, I am sure you will remember risu. And then we have what do you say in these situations? So, well, jiko shokai no toki hajime mashite yoroshiku onegai shimas. This is an expression. Uchi e kaetta toki. Can you tell me what they say? Well, it is tadaima. I am back. Uchi kara deru toki. Deru toki is when you leave your house, you say itte kimasu. I will go and come. Shokuji o taberu mai ni itadaki mas. Thanks for the food. It is a prayer. Thanking God, thanking Him for the good food. Omiyage o ageru toki. Tsumaranai mono desu ga dozo. You could also add a lot of things after this, but this is basic. Tsumaranai mono desu ga. Tsumaranai mono means it is a very small thing. It is something very, very small. So, please accept it. And even if the thing is very big, you would always say tsumaranai mono desu. Kurasu no mai ni hajimaru mai ni. What do you say? Well, hajime mashokka. 
shall we begin? Then kurasni hairu toki. Minasan ohayo gozaimasu or konnichiwa depending on the time of the day. Keiki wo ageta toki nani wo imasu ka? Dozo meshi agatte kudasai. This is polite. You can also say to your friends your age dozo tabete kudasai. Or you could also say dozo tabete mite kudasai. Please eat and see. Gohan o tabeta ato after you have had gohan. After you have finished eating gochiso sama deshita. Thank you for the good food. You thank God for the food that you have eaten. And teinei ni kiku toki. Teinei is polite. Teinei ni kiku toki. Kohi o nomimashou ka? What do you say? Instead of this, well, kohi wa ikaga desu ka is the phrase. Ikaga is polite for nomimas or just asking politely for eating or drinking or going somewhere. Now, as I promised to you earlier in the lesson, we are going to talk about I want something. We have done in our previous lessons, I want to do something. If you remember, we did watashi wa gohan o tabetai, watashi wa kaimono o shitai, watashi wa nihongo o benkyo shitai, meaning that I want to do this. But over here, what we are going to do today is, I want something. I want to have something. So, well, for example, I want a doll or someone else wants a doll or whatever. So, let us see. Before that, we will try to do the potential form which we did in our last lesson. We did group 1, group 1 last time, we will do group 2 today. Now, group 2 verbs, will you tell me some group 2 verbs? Well, they are taberu, neru, akeru, shimeru, kangaeru. So, you will see all of them end in ru. Now, what you need to do for potential form to show that you are able to perform a certain thing, you are able to do a certain action, well, you just need to remove this ru from here and add rare ru, tabe rare ru, I can eat, neru, nerare ru, I can sleep, akerare ru, I can open, shimerare ru, I can close, kangaerare ru, I can think. So, you can say for taberare ru, watashi wa niku ga taberare masu, watashi wa taberare masu, watashi wa mado akerare masu. So, I can open, I have the ability to open, niku ga taberare masu. You are stating a fact, you are stating something, thus it is ga over here. Now, you can practice group 2 and group 1 both in this section over here. There is a small conversation, Rao san, nihongo ga hanasemasu ka? Group 1, hanashimasu, mas form, hanasemasu, potential form. Hai, skoshi. Hanase mas. And this is very, very cultural, even if you know something very well, even if you are able to do something very well, you are jozu at it, you are good at it, you will still say very politely in a very humble manner, skoshi, little bit, I only know very little. So, this is very, very cultural and of course, language is all about culture of a place. So, well, it has come into the language, skoshi is, you will never say that I know all or I am very good at this. In Japan at least, 
you will say I am still learning or I know little as is given over here. Hai, skoshi hanasemasu, I can speak a little. So, well you can replace Nihongo over here for Chugo Kubo and Hanashimas as over here Hanasemas can be the same. Then Rao san, densha de ikemasu ka? Can you go? Rao san, niku ga taberare masu ka? Can you eat niku which is meat or ohashi de with the means of ohashi which is chopsticks taberare masu ka? So, you can ask and it could be hai, it could be ie, I cannot do or I can do. You can practice this with your partner. You have the kanji for chugoku go, densha which you have done, niku is a new kanji which I will tell you and ohashi is again a new kanji. We will cover this later sometime. You can just look at the kanjis become familiar. Hanasu for talking, iku for ikimas and taberu for tabemas. We have done all these three characters. So, you can use potential form like this over here for group 1 and group 2. Now, there is a small conversation here between A and B. Listen to this conversation and there are a few new things we will try to cover them in class now. Rao san, raigetsu indo e kaerimasu ka? So desu, raigetsu no juusan nichi desu. Dore gurai desu ka? San shukan desu. Oba san to oji san ni mo au kara chotto nagai desu. Omiyage o kaimashita ka? Hai kaimashita. Demo imoto wa mada desu. Jitsu wa watashi wa kamera o kaitai desu ga, imoto wa nihon ningyo ga daisuke desu kara hoshigatte imasu. じゃあ、両方買ってくださいね。でも人形の店は知らないから今困ってます。あ、そうですか。じゃあちょっと待ってね。友達に聞いてみる。ラオさん大丈夫よ。友達は店を知っているからご案内します。ありがとう。お願い
her and she is wanting a Japanese doll from me thus I have to buy a Japanese doll for her. So, B san says in that case well why do not you buy both ryoho camera as well as a doll ryoho katte kudasai buy both, but demo ningyo no mise Japanese doll shop I do not know thus I am a little worried now komatte imases I am a little worried. You do not have to be worried aso desu ka ja chotto matte ne wait for a minute tomodachi ni kiite miru. Now, so far you have done must form always in the end, but over here you can see the sentence ends with miru which is a plain form. So, well when you are talking to your friends in informal situation you may use miru instead of must form in the end as well. Rao san daijobu desu yo after 5 minutes after talking he comes back again and he says Rao san daijobu desu yo tomodachi wa mise o shitte iru kara he knows the mise thus he will guide us and Rao san obviously says arigato. So well lot of new things over here we will practice right away this is in the script of course you can go over this and practice your hiragana and katakana and kanji and this is the explanation but please remember I keep repeating this again and again but this is not a literal translation of what is given in the conversation this is just what you would say in English sometimes literal translation sounds a little odd as is given over here I do not know a place where Japanese dolls are sold so I am a little worried now. So, instead of that you can say I do not know where to buy dolls. So, sometimes they sound a little odd, but well you can practice this now look at the pictures and tell what you want hoshi. The first picture is megane ga hoshi desu. I want megane, megane ga hoshi desu because you are stating something emphatically thus you will use particle ga over here hoshi will always take particle ga. The second one is boshi he wants a cap boshi he is thinking of a cap so boshi ga hoshi desu. Then okane money everybody wants money so well okane ga hoshi desu wants to have okane. Then in the end we have these two people talking to each other a san wants a computer and b san wants a camera. So, well a san wa computer ga hoshi desu and b san wa camera ga hoshi desu. You can practice like this remember hoshi will always take particle ga and one thing important with hoshi is as you can see in the example also first person something ga hoshi desu. Second person inquiry something ga hoshi desu ka and if it is third person you are talking about someone who is not present over there about someone else's desire to want something then third person is something ga hoshi gatte imasu. I am sorry something o hoshi gatte imasu. So, please remember that as is given in the example over here watashi wa toke ga hoshi desu, rao san wa nani ga hoshi desu ka, rao san wa kuruma o hoshi gatte imasu. So, you will see the difference hoshi will take ga and hoshi gatte imasu third person will always take o. 
practice hoshi over here. Let us see what it is. Nani ga hoshi desu ka? Well, you can desire anything you want in the picture. He wants a camera. He also wants a kuruma. So, well, let us see. Kamera ga hoshi desu. Rao san wa kamera ga hoshi desu. And also, he wants a kuruma. And not only one, he wants three. Sandai kuruma mo hoshi desu. Then he wants a kaban. So, well, kaban ga hoshi desu. So, you can practice hoshi like this. Now, we have been doing expressions. This is a very, very cultural thing you can see over here. The Japanese in their houses at the entrance remove shoes and then enter house. When they enter someone's house or when they enter even their house, they change into a different set of slippers which is only used inside and the reason is that they have tatami floors. If you remember we did tatami floors in our previous lesson with fusuma and because it is a straw flooring, if you get shoes from outside, the flooring will get dirty, it cannot be cleaned and then besides that the biggest reason is that Japanese do everything. They sit on the floor, they eat on the floor, they sleep on the floor. So, you have to change like this. There is a small step over here. You have to come up. Leave your chapels over here in this area and then come up, wear these and then enter the house. So, what do you say at this time? Well, this expression you have done, irashai mase. When you enter a shop or you come to someone's house, Generally, irashai mase is used, which is welcome. Now, dozo oangari kudasai. This is the expression which is used when you invite someone inside. Dozo means please. Angari kudasai means please come inside, step up and come inside. And kudasai, of course, is please. O over here is honorific and being very, very courteous. And Teine, which is polite. Dozo o angari kudasai. So, this is an expression you can remember and try to use if you are in Japan. Always change your chapels, always change your sandals, and then enter someone's house. Now, after this, you have your assignments, your shukudai. You can see the kanji over here. There is lots to do today. There are pictures you have to tell about what they are doing, then practice this form. There are pictures given in group A and in group B, match the pictures and write the words. Ikimashou ka? Isho ni you have. Rao san, arimasu ka? Dou shite desu ka? Ano, terebi o ikimashou ka? Isho ni you have done. Well, this was your shukudai for today. And you can practice what we have done today, what we have done previously and try to do small conversation and then we will meet next time again and do something new. Till then, thank you and mata aimashou.